the world needs men, true men, who cannot be bought or sold, men who scorn to violate truth, genuine gold. That's what this school is going to produce. More than that, there will be leaders, leaders, not only in this island, but are everywhere. You mark that word. And from this school, I'll tell you, will go men and women whose influence will be felt for good towards the establishment of peace internationally. Good are weapons. I can fight with it. Oh no. We don't need more weapons. We need more peace. Come. Come. A long time ago, on an island far away, a prophet of God dedicated a special school for peace. A place where people of all cultures could come and learn to live and work together. A special school where the spirit of brotherhood would abound. In this school, a man could grow to become a great leader, genuine gold, one who could bring about much good in many lands, in many places, a prophetic place of destiny. Can you take me there? Oh, I cannot go. It is too far, and the cost of the journey is too great. If you have faith and work hard, perhaps the Lord will prepare a way for you. Meanwhile, you must prepare. Prepare how? Prepare your mind and your spirit. Learn as much as you can. Soak in all the knowledge that you can. Prepare to journey to the temple. Prepare to go on a mission. Prepare, my boy. And if you do, the Lord will be happy to bless you with talents and opportunities. Over 50 years ago, President David O. McKay envisioned this place as a living laboratory where cultures would come together from all walks of life and share in one unique thing, and that is a love for our Savior Jesus Christ. I believe Hawaii is a perfect place for us to experience the spirit of aloha, which is the spirit of Christ. And with our partnership with the Polynesian Cultural Center, 
we're able to achieve that in ways that no other university can in the world. Here we have the Samoan culture, the Fijian, Maori, Hawaiian, and a host of all other cultures that come here to not only dance and entertain, but to, as our sign says, enter to learn and go forth to serve. And Hawaii is a perfect place for that. Where else can we experience the beauty of these islands, and the beauty of the Spirit of Christ, and the quality of an academic education all wrapped into one institution. For me, my love and aloha comes from this land, this aina, and learning more about it, the history, the culture, the traditions, the language, the chants, the dances, will help me to share the spirit of aloha with those that I meet. I think that the more we understand about this spirit that we call aloha, the more we can understand what it means to uh, further the spirit of Christ in all we do. I always wanted to teach about Jesus Christ to people. I always wanted to do that. Uh, and it says in the scripture, I learned that uh, in childhood, like Savior said, go and preach my gospel. And that was the question I always had with me. Why churches, they don't do that? When it's been said, why we don't do it? And when I I've, I've met these missionaries and learned the principles, of the gospel and the doctrines and the practice which we follow in this church, I knew this is truth. I knew that this is what I wanted to do. So I was a year old member when I went and served mission. Now after coming to BY Hawaii and not only just getting an education, but learning what you can do for others. That's what I'm taking with me. What we are getting trained on on this campus, it's not only just uh, education in the classroom, but uh, spiritually and developing a skills like a leadership skills and those qualities which one leader should have. This will, this will have a huge impact in every the different country where the student will return because this world is looking for those people you know who has a higher moral value good work ethics and this is what this school is doing this is shaping a character of a student and if we keep our promises and if we as a student we do what we have been asked to do and what we have learned inside and outside the class on this beautiful campus we will make a huge impact in the world It takes me more than 10 years to come here. Shortly I after I joined the church, my mom found out that I keep paying tithing every single month. And she got really mad about it. One night after I get off from work, I found out she packed up all my luggage. She packed up all my personal belongings in the luggage and kicked me out of the family. I tell my mom, Mom, I love you, but I want to do what is right. So I take my luggage and leave. And then I call one of the members' friends that um, I really close to in the church. I let her know what's going on and ask if I can stay in her house for a couple of days so that I can figure out what I can do in my life. Deep in my heart, in my prayer, I know that one day, one day I can go to university and study and learn. But I don't know when, but I know it will happen because it is one of the answers in my prayers. That's why I know that I need to get myself prepared financially, spiritually, physically. So I work hard, save up money in case when a chance comes, I can, you know, just go ahead for it. it it took me more than 10 years to come to BYU Hawaii, but even though it takes me that long, it's worth it. There's hope in life. 
and I'm able to go after my dream. I'm able to learn, I'm able to grow, I'm able to do more things, not just for myself, but for other people. And that's how I think education is for. You learn, you grow, and then you go out, you give, and you serve. Leadership here in, in, in BYU Hawaii for me, since I re arrived here in 2007, um, I have been Ellis Quorum teacher, I have been Sunday school teacher, and I was moved up into the bishopric um, a couple of years uh, back, and that was being thrown into the deep waters. Um, and I'm grateful for it because when you're in deep waters, you have no, no other choice but to swim. And just recently, I've been called into the High Councilman, and that's where I'm serving right now. And that's even scarier than being in the bishopric. I was just pretty much a tourist when I first came in 2003. When it came to leadership, I was a follower. And if my friends would choose to skip class, I was a follower, I would skip class until I went on a mission. All these experiences, uh, it has helped me become more open. It's helped me talk to people face to face. I guess my people skills has improved a lot. Wherever I go, here in Hawaii or anywhere in the world, I can just sit down and start a conversation with a total stranger. And I've learned a lot of this just by experiencing um, church callings. And that's the main, main purpose of this campus, is to send our leaders to help build the kingdom. And that's one big part of, of my plan, is that to help build the kingdom when I go home to Tonga. The I Work program is, uh, is a scholarship program for international students that will help them pay for their tuition. International students can come to the Brigham Young University with a promise to either work in the PCC, Polynesian Culture Centre, or on BYU campus. My first experience of being here at BYU was without the I Work program, and I loved it here but I could not um, afford to be here and I could not afford education back at home um, so being able to be accepted onto this iWork program gave me that opportunity to gain a tertiary education not only um, a higher education but also a higher experience of things that I could not experience at home. Are you guys from Canada? Yeah. Oh wow what part? My education is so important because I am the first one of my family to gain tertiary education and I'm also the only active member of my family. Um, so to be the first one to not only go to a uh, wholly uh, church-sponsored school and to gain a tertiary education means so much to me to um, help my family in any way I can. So that I can go home and possibly share that with them the importance of not only great but gaining a tertiary education so that we um, have better chance at life but also that we may have a um, <clears throat> better quality of life in the church and keeping the commandments. No student here is here by accident. We are all here for a purpose, and I believe that. And they are preparing themselves to be leaders and to make good contributions in their own communities.
mark that word. Hey guys, wait up! And from the school, I'll tell you, will go men and women whose influence will be felt for good towards the establishment of peace in the night. Leaders! Men who scorn to violate truth! Genuine gold!